I'm an entrepreneur. I'm going to try things. Like all CEOs, Vince tries things to an extent. They grind you up and they spit you out. Take it from WWE Hall of Famer, Bret Hart. If you can't cut it, get out. The problem is, Vince... This isn't a career. This is not a career. This is an opportunity. Like Dana White... We love it. We think it's important. And the 45th president, Donald Trump... More than 130 Secret Service officers who help protect the White House and the president and his family have been ordered to isolate or quarantine after testing positive for the coronavirus. Don't care about their workforce. They can totally control your life. And you're and an yet, independent contractor. And yet they call you an independent contractor. How has the government allowed them to get away with that? Take it from another Hall of Famer, Jesse the Body Ventura, like all CEOs. <laughs> this year, Amazon was ranked one of the 12 worst companies to work for. We're not treated as human beings. We're not even treated as robots. We're treated as part of the data stream. If people could, could hit those rates, could hit those numbers, hey, let's push them a little harder. You're just disposable. They take advantage and squeeze their employees. We do not believe unions are in the best interest of our customers, our shareholders, or most importantly, our associates. <laughs> And bar one very important thing, unionization. You see, while the National Basketball Association, Major League Baseball, the National Football League, and countless others have player unions. How does McMahon get away with that? They sign contracts waiving their rights. Vince McMahon does not allow it. Remember Jesse Ventura, who we featured at the beginning? He tried unionizing the wrestlers reportedly in the 1980s. I stood up in the dressing room and I said, guys, now is the time to unionize. All we have to do is refuse to wrestle WrestleMania. Thing is, this has been done by athletes previously. In 1964, at the NBA All-Star Game, the first ever televised All-Star Game, mind you, the players refused to take the court until their demands were met, mainly promises that were made but not executed, like pensions, athletic trainers at every game, improved playing conditions, and more. We brought in our reps, said the late, great Boston Celtic Tommy Heinsohn, then Commish Walter Kennedy. Kennedy gave in and the game was played. Quite a different story with Vince McMahon and pro wrestling. I went home and got a phone call the next day from Vince McMahon. And he wanted to know what the hell I was trying to pull. Years later, Ventura brought a lawsuit against Vince McMahon. Under oath, Ventura's lawyer asked how McMahon learned of the wrestlers' plan to unionize. McMahon, without hesitation, under oath, said it was famed wrestler Hulk Hogan who screwed over his own teammates and ratted them out. The reason we bring all this up is because yet another wrestler. That's the last thing I wanted to do was cry right off the bat. Zelina Vega tweeted that she supports wrestlers unionizing. Just 10 minutes later, the WWE tweeted that they released Vega from her contract, one that saw her make far less than she does on Twitch. Wrestlers are labeled as independent contractors. They have no pension benefits. They have no vacation. They have no 401k plans. Speaking of, McMahon fired a warning shot to his roster of wrestlers. Severed ties with Twitch and all other third parties are faced the wrath of consequences from him. What they are fighting for is simple. As John Oliver noted, independent contractors are exempt from most discrimination and occupational safety laws. They also don't get paid annual leave, pensions, or health insurance, the show noted, even though the IRS states independent contractors are free to work when and for who he or she chooses. But of course, they're not. McMahon has a stranglehold on the sport through his own top to bottom monopoly and despite record profits plus a pandemic that has left millions out of work and unable to afford soup the company still went on to fire a ton of their staff all these wrestlers that have broke their backs making this living for years end up with nothing when it's over and then they sort of take you out back and they put a slug in the back of your head and dump you out in a that's the life of a professional wrestler the harsh truth on the way Vince McMahon operates if you'd like to hear more thought-provoking content like TYT Sports on Facebook and to help in my journey to keep media independent, go to tyt.com slash rick.